T-Rex versus Triceratops in a fight. Who would win? Imagine traveling back in time to the late Cretaceous period, around 68 million years ago. The Earth was a world of giants, a stage where some of the most powerful creatures ever to walk the planet roamed freely. The air was warm, the land was lush, and massive dinosaurs dominated the landscape. Among these giants stood two titans, locked in an eternal rivalry between predator and prey. On one side was the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex, the apex predator of its age. On the other, the mighty Triceratops, a living fortress of bone, muscle, and horn. If these two colossal beasts ever clashed in a fight to the death, the outcome would be nothing short of legendary. Let us first look at the king of predators, Tyrannosaurus rex. This carnivore could grow to over 40 feet in length and weigh nearly 9 tons. Its skull alone stretched over 5 feet long, filled with around 60 serrated teeth, each one designed to rip through flesh and crush bone. But the true terror of Tyrex lay in its bite force. With over 35,000 newtons of pressure, it had the most powerful bite of any land animal in history. To put that into perspective, its jaws could crush through the bones of its prey as easily as a human snaps a twig. Its entire head was a weapon of destruction. T-Rex was not just about power, it also had acute senses that made it a highly efficient hunter. Its eyesight was forward-facing, giving it depth perception, while its sense of smell was incredibly advanced, capable of detecting prey from miles away. Despite its massive size, it could still move at surprising speeds. While it wasn't the fastest dinosaur, bursts of up to 20 kilometers per hour made it deadly against slower herbivores. When T-Rex committed to an attack, there was little chance for its prey to escape. Now, let us turn to Triceratops, one of the most iconic herbivores to ever exist. Measuring over 30 feet long and weighing between 6 and 12 tons, it was a behemoth in its own right. Its body was supported by powerful stocky legs that carried its massive weight across the plains of North America. What truly made Triceratops unique was its skull. Stretching nearly eight feet long, it carried a broad frill and three massive horns. The two horns above its eyes could reach lengths of over one meter, while a smaller horn adorned its nose. These horns were not just for show, they were weapons of survival. The frill itself was a thick shield of bone. While it may have had some display functions, its role in defense cannot be ignored. Together with its horns, Triceratops had the perfect combination of offense and defense making it one of the most dangerous herbivores of its time. Imagine the battlefield, vast open plain, the sun blazing overhead as these two titans approach one another. The Tyrex, calculating and patient, circles the Triceratops. It knows a direct frontal attack is too risky, for those horns could easily pierce its chest. Meanwhile, Triceratops lowers its head, planting its feet firmly on the ground. Its body is a wall of muscle and armor ready to unleash devastating power. If the predator dares to come too close, each breath steams in the warm air as tension fills the prehistoric silence. The first move often belongs to Triceratops. With a thunderous bellow, it charges forward, horns aimed like spears. The ground trembles beneath its weight, dust rising with each step. At the last second, T-Rex sidesteps, narrowly escaping the deadly thrust. The predator counters instantly, lunging with jaws wide open, its teeth sink into the Triceratops' side, tearing flesh and drawing blood. The air fills with a metallic scent as the struggle escalates. This is no easy kill. Wounded but not defeated, the Triceratops swings its massive head. One horn slashes across the thigh of the T-Rex, cutting deep. The predator roars in agony, its booming voice echoing across the plain. Both animals are now injured, locked in a brutal test of strength and endurance. T-Rex thrives in battles of attrition. Strategy is not to end fights instantly, but to wear its prey down. Even one bite could cause catastrophic bleeding and infection, ensuring eventual victory. The predator's persistence was often its deadliest weapon. Triceratops, however, cannot afford a long fight. Its power lies in one decisive strike. Well-placed thrust from its horns could instantly end the battle, driving deep into the belly or chest of its opponent. The longer the fight drags on, the greater the danger it faces. Evidence from fossils suggests that such clashes were not just possible, but real. Triceratops skulls have been discovered with massive bite marks, perfectly matching the jaws of Tyrex. 
At the same time, Tyrex bones have been found with deep puncture wounds that resemble horn strikes. This rivalry was written into the fossil record. Imagine the climax of such a battle. The Tyrex lunges again, jaws snapping around the neck of the Triceratops. Bone crunches as the predator's teeth sink deep, shaking its prey violently. For a moment, it seems as if the fight is over. But in a final act of desperation, the Triceratops drives its horns upward with all its strength. One horn pierces the chest of the T-Rex, breaking ribs and tearing into vital organs. The predator stumbles backward, blood pouring from the wound. Both creatures stagger, weakened and battered. With one last roar, the T-Rex collapses. The Triceratops, equally wounded, breathes heavily, standing victorious for only a moment before succumbing to its own injuries. Al, the battlefield is silent once again. So who truly wins? The answer is not simple. If the Tyrex lands the first devastating bite, it has the power to kill even a fully grown Triceratops. But if the Triceratops holds its ground and lands a perfect strike with its horns, it can bring down even the king of dinosaurs. In reality, there were no guaranteed victors in nature. Sometimes the predator triumphed and sometimes the prey turned the tables. Each battle was a gamble of strength, strategy, and sheer luck. The late Cretaceous was a world where survival itself was the ultimate prize, and perhaps that is the true answer. The winner of T-Rex vs. Triceratops was not just one creature or the other, but the story of evolution itself. A story that has left us with fossils, scars and ancient bones, and a question that still fires our imagination today. In the clash of titans, who would win?